What's up, y'all, and welcome back to CountryCast. One of country music's biggest icons, Dolly Parton, has now been in the genre for over 50 years, and boy have us fans enjoyed every second and loved every minute that we have gotten with Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton feels the same every second and every minute, except for one incident that happened in her career. It was a decision that she had to make against the king of rock and roll himself, Mr. Elvis Presley. This decision at the time haunted her and it even brought her to tears. Y'all know what to do, stick around because when we get back, we'll hear what Dolly Parton has to say because she is now opening up about the situation. Stay tuned. <laughs> And just real quick, like always, before we get started with today's news stories, remember to head on over to our social accounts, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, to give us a like and a follow. Our Facebook is CountryCast, our Instagram is CountryCast News, and our Twitter is at CountryCast News. Remember, folks, if you are new here or you've been by the show before and just haven't hit that subscribe button down below yet, please go ahead and do so. Remember to turn on those notifications as well. Hit that like button, too, so YouTube knows that you love us here, right here at CountryCast and we can keep bringing you breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with today's news story surrounding Dolly Parton and a really difficult decision that unfortunately this icon had to make during her career, one that I don't think anybody would really want to make because she had to make this decision against the king of rock and roll himself, Mr. Elvis Presley. So going all the way back to when Dolly Parton's hit song, I Will Always Love You, hit number one on the charts. During that time, Dolly Parton had the opportunity to meet Elvis Presley. However, that meeting was interrupted because of a very high demand that Dolly Parton was not willing to accept. Dolly Parton recently opened up about this time in her career on Living and Learning with Reba McIntyre, Reba's podcast. Dolly Parton explained to Reba that the meeting was all set up, ready to go. Everybody was really ecstatic about it. However, it changed course. This is what she had to say. She told Reba it was Colonel Tom Parker, his manager, who was brilliant. I already had a number one song, I Will Always Love You. That was the most important copyright I had in my publishing company. So I was so excited. I told everybody. They had called me that Elvis was recording it and if I wanted to come to the studio. Elvis wanted to meet me and all that. However, this is where things took a turn. Elvis's manager, Colonel Tom Parker, said, according to Dolly, you know, we don't record anything with Elvis unless we have the publishing, or at least half the publishing. Dolly Parton then told Elvis's manager, well, that throws a new light on this because I can't give you half the publishing. I'm gonna leave that to my family, and I can't do that. Dolly continued and said, I cried all night. Oh, I just pictured Elvis, like, singing it. And I know that Elvis loved it, but it's true. I said no. Dolly has obviously become a massive figure in country music and just music itself. But could you imagine that time in your career fairly early on and things were looking up for you and Elvis Presley reaches out because he really loves a song that you have put together and he wants to record it and you gotta tell Elvis no. I mean, Elvis is an icon just like Dolly, but man, I could only imagine doing that. However, this did play out in Dolly's favor because later on she explained to Reba that uh, Whitney Houston obviously covered this song later on and because of that, her keeping the publishing rights really paid off, especially with her wanting to give it to her family. So all in all, in the end, it was a fantastic call to tell Elvis no, but I'm sure that's not really the norm or that probably wasn't much of the norm back then to just tell Elvis, nah, uh, I'm good, I don't want you to record my song. One could only imagine what uh, I Will Always Love You would have sounded like from Elvis Presley, but unfortunately, because Dolly was not willing to follow the demands given to her by his manager, he was unable to uh, record the track. But guys, go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. That will be it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications as well, so you never miss out on any breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.